President Trump is once again waking up here this morning, the Walter Reed Medical Facility. He's getting treatment for COVID-19. His medical team has painted an optimistic picture on how he's reacting to his treatment. John Glasgow is following the president's diagnosis this morning. John, some doctors say he could be released as early as today. That's right, Natasha. The White House, they're trying to portray an image of a commander in chief still hard at work. Photos released overnight show the president working inside the Walter Reed Hospital. Earlier in the day, President Trump left the hospital for a brief motorcade to visit supporters on the street. Some medical experts and Democratic lawmakers say that this put two Secret Service agents in the car at risk. The president's medical team says his oxygen levels dropped below desired readings on Friday and Saturday. And doctors say that his vital signs are stable, but medical experts say his treatment does not reflect a patient who's doing well. President has been put on an anti-inflammatory steroid, typically reserved for the sickest patients. Trying to reflect the, the, uh, the upbeat attitude that the team, the president, that his course of illness has had. Um, and in doing so, uh, you know, it came off uh, that we were trying to hide something, which wasn't necessarily true. When it comes to something as vital as this, the health of the president, the health of the people around him, we need to go the whole truth and nothing but the truth. President Trump could be back at the White House in just a few hours. NBC News has confirmed this morning, in addition to the president's personal aid, two staff members from the White House residence also tested positive for COVID-19 weeks ago. John Glasgow, 9 News.